Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics. In this video, I'll be showing you my top 10 things to help you get started with the Raspberry Pi. To begin with, you'll be needing a Raspberry Pi, an SD card, 2GB or larger in size, a case, some jumper wires, a GPIO breakout board, a micro USB cable, a powered USB hub complete with cables, and a USB power supply. The Raspberry Pi that I have here is the Model B with 512 megabytes of RAM. Here I have a 3D printed case. A case will prevent the electronics on the bottom of the board from shorting out when placed on a conductive surface. Here I have a homemade GPO breakout board. This will easily allow you to integrate a Raspberry Pi into your projects. The Raspberry Pi Foundation recommend a USB charger that outputs 750 milliamps or higher at 5 volts. Here I have a micro USB cable. This will provide power to the Pi. Your operating system of choice will be stored on your SD card, so make sure you select a suitable card for your operating system of choice, as they can vary greatly in size. The next item that I recommend is some jumper wires. These will easily allow you to connect your projects up to your Raspberry Pi. And lastly, a 4 port powered USB hub comes in handy when connecting more than two USB devices to your Pi. Okay, so now let's take a look at installing our first operating system onto our Pi. First, navigate to the raspberrypi.org website, and then click the Downloads link. Once on the Downloads page, scroll down to the Raspberry section, and click on Image. Then just wait for the download to finish. Next, download Win32 Disk Imager. We'll be using this program to write the image to the SD card. Once both Win32 Disk Imager and the Raspbian image has finished downloading, open up Win32 Disk Imager. Select the appropriate drive, which is your SD card, and then select the image. And then click right to begin the process. Once finished, insert your SD card into your Pi. Then plug in the micro USB cable. And also plug in the appropriate cables into your powered USB hub. Then plug in your HDMI cable or composite video cable. And don't forget to plug in your 4 port USB hub USB cable into your Raspberry Pi. Once you've made the appropriate connections, then plug in your keyboard and mouse to your 4 port USB hub. And then apply power to the micro USB cable connected to the Pi. Once your Raspberry Pi is initially booted up, you will then be greeted by this display. Log in with the default username Pi and password Raspberry. And then enter Start X to launch a new graphical session.